Yo, what's going on guys? Notice here. Today I got a hawk guide for you guys. This is going to be a build tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys the best builds to possibly be running in hawked. These are going to be a lot of meta builds. I feel like people are going to be running as far as close range and close quarter combat fights. I mainly want to focus on the close range because a lot of the fights you're going to be taking in this game are... Uh, uh, close range fights but i will be showing off a uh, far range build which is actually going to be my first build i'm going to show off first so uh, let's get into it all right so for the first build uh we have a sniper slash um ar build what we're going to be running is elder's mask uh pulverizer and nimble newt elder's mask while aiming the artifact creates a protective mask that has 60 durability points mass restores durability while deactivated basically this it creates a face shield as you can see right here when you're adsing um, it has 60 durability points, so if they break that, uh, if they break the face shield, if while you have it deactivated, it restores uh, and it's going to come back. The legendary mass becomes 40% larger and its durability restores 50% faster. So basically, you know, if it breaks, it's going to restore 50% uh, faster than what it already normally does, which is really good. And then uh, the mass becomes 40% larger, so the mass is going to be a lot bigger than what you see in this picture uh you'll be able to see it when it's uh legendary it's it's a very noticeable difference it's really good next artifact all right pulverizer after aiming for one second your next shot becomes empowered increases its damage by 25 percent so when you ads uh for one second your ne your next shot is going to be empowered by 25 percent so when you shoot when you shoot after that one second uh happens you're you're going to be doing 25% more damage, which is really good for sniping. This is why I picked this artifact for uh, this, the long range build, because, you know, you're going to be hitting really, really hard from that far range with the snipers or like, you know, like the semi-auto rifles or things like that. I highly recommend this artifact for uh, you know, those type of scenarios. The legendary quality, like when you get to the legendary, pulverizer charges 25% faster at, uh, after each empowered shot stacks up to two times so you're going to be able to stack this up to two times which is really good when it's legendary and, and it charges 25 percent faster so like um that charge um it's going to be you're going to be able to shoot uh do more damage really really fast this is just an overall really really good artifact alone for pvp um you're gonna be doing a lot of damage to players and then next up we have is nimble new this is basically it's just a movement artifact this is going to be used for you know getting around the map being able to just move uh freely just in case you know your people start to push you you can create some distance you'll be able to sprint away from them but this increases sprint speed to maximum and reduces the stamina cost of sprinting by 31 percent unarmed all right next up we got um for the gears that we're going to be running for this build i chose for this is the uh the wall the gelatinum wall creates a gelatinum wall that blocks projectiles and shows enemies each gelatinum segment has 80 durability points cooldown 20 seconds we have uh, echo poster so this is going to be really good for um, scanning where the opponents are uh, a minute scanning wave that highlights enemies traps chests and stashes for 2.3 seconds cooldown 25 seconds you're gonna be able to scan people like like i said this is like a really perfect for sniping so you know that's this is really good really and it's also really good uh support for your team because it shows everyone on your team where everyone is so you know it benefits everyone not just you it benefits the whole team and you can find where stashes are like this is also good for pve as well the blue rarity increases scanning wave area by 50 percent so bigger radius it's going to cover more range for uh scanning and then legendary quality every enemy or loot source highlighted by echo poster decreases its cooldown by one per second so every time anything you scan it's going to add it's going to decrease your cooldown by one second which is really nice you can scan a lot of objects and it's going to decrease um the cooldown of the art uh, artifact by one second or not the artifact the gear i'm sorry all right so for the next build we have up here is a close range build this is going to be mainly meant for if you're pushing a lot and you're getting into shotgun fights so we have the omni repeater the storm song conch and soul siphon artifacts work really really well together 
for PvP. The Omni Repeater automatically reloads or cools down your firearm by 24% when nearly empty or overheated. When, if you have the Moldian, right? That's like probably one of the best shotguns in the game. That normally has six shots in it. When it becomes nearly empty, it adds two more extra bullets. So you're gonna have basically eight bullets in that Moldian instead of six, which is really nice because if you run out of, if both of you guys run out of ammo, you know the other guy he's going to be reloading your gun while you're still laying off two free shots so that's going to be really nice in those like scenarios where you both have to reload and you know he's not running the artifacts you're going to be able to probably get the the jump on him because you have more bullets it's really nice all right so the next artifact we have is storm song conch this is going to be used in a lot of pvp builds it's probably in my opinion the best artifact in the game right now just simply off the fact of the buffs you get. When entering combat by dealing or taking damage, gain multiple buffs for 8 seconds. Cooldown 20 seconds but resets every time you enter combat. It gives you 4 buffs. It gives you haste, handling, accuracy, and uh, quick charge. Uh, the handling buff basically makes it to where you can swap your weapons faster, you can reload faster, and you can ADS faster. The haste buff gives you unlimited uh, stamina for that duration of time of the artifact, which is eight seconds. And then the accuracy buff, you know, it basically makes your guns have less recoil. And then the quick charge buff makes your re your shield recharge time a lot, a lot faster. Like it makes it much faster than what it normally is, which is really, really nice. Cause you know, if you're getting shot at, you want your shield to regen uh, like really, really quick. And yeah, that's the Storm Song Conch. That's why I believe this artifact is probably one of the best because those buffs are very, very effective in PvP. Next artifact we have here is Soul Siphon. Eliminating or knocking down an enemy heals you for 27% of their maximum health. Assisting counts too. So anytime you knock someone down or eliminating them, you get 20% of uh, their maximum health. And then... The legendary if the target is a rival renegade soul siphon can boost your health beyond its maximum so if you have full health you finish them um you're gonna get even more health than what you already have you're gonna get health beyond what you already have so this is really really good but now moving on to the gears the gears i chose for this is uh the doomerang throw this each bounce uh does 30 damage per bounce uh does you want to ideally with the boomerang throw these at the ground first just so you can get that 30 damage uh, uh, for the bounce. If you, every time you catch it, you see your character catch the boomerang, uh, the cooldown is reduced to by 50%. You're gonna be doing more damage uh, for every bounce you have, which is really good for squads. Like if you're, there's like three people, like, and you throw it at one person and it keeps bouncing off of them, you're gonna be doing a lot more damage. Like you're gonna be doing like some serious damage to people. All right, for uh, the our ward ability, we got boombox uh this is another this is probably honestly the best gear in the game in my opinion because this also gives you two buffs uh it gives you the haste and the handling buff like i said uh the haste gives you uh sprint speed and stamina uh and then the handling buff you know it gives you reload uh switch weapons and uh, inbound sight speed it's just really fast all right so for our third um build here we have we're running sprint tide storm song conch and uh collector squirrel this this is the build i currently run um i run this build a lot uh it's probably one of my favorite builds i will swap out some things time to time to just experiment with things to try stuff new but for the most part this is like my main build i run for pvp when playing this game sprint tide reduces damage taken uh, by up to 30% while sprinting, sliding, or surfing, this bonus increases to the maximum over 4 seconds, converts the damage blocked into stamina. So basically when you're sprinting, you take 30% less damage if you're doing any of these three things right here. And then uh, the bonus increases uh, to the maximum over 4 seconds. You only get this 30% when you're at maximum, right? So this 30%... You have to make sure you're at maximum speed it takes about four seconds to get to maximum which isn't long and then the damage blocked converts into stamina so you're going to get more stamina out of this which is really nice and then the legendary variant 
His maximum damage reduction is increased to 35% while sprinting, sprinting at maximum speed. So this basically goes up to 35% instead of 30%, which is really great. So just remember, like when you're, you have to be sprinting at maximum speed and it takes four seconds to get to that maximum speed. So you get this 30% when you hit that four second mark. All right, then we're running Storm Song Conch again. Uh, like I said, this is the best artifact in the game. You're gonna wanna run this for like any close range combat uh, PVP build. All right, so next up we have uh, the Coil Collector. Um, this basically, what it does is Coil Collector gains up to two charges that increases maximum shield by 10 for each trinket you carry. Gain both charges if you carry an artifact. Every time you carry a trinket, boosts your shield by 10. So every time I carry a trinket, say if I'm at like uh, my starting health is or my starting shield is 50. I pick up a trinket that goes up by 10. So I'm going to have 60 shield instead of uh, 50. And then I pick up another one. It's going to go up to 70. And then if I pick up another one, it's going to go up to 80. So three trinkets is the max you can hold in this game if you have Grill Plus. But two is normally the amount you can ha have if you don't have Grill Plus. If you don't have any um, trinkets on you, um, you can pick this up and it will actually give you two charges, which is really nice. And then legendary quality. Each collector coral charge also reduces shield recharge time by one. So basically your shield recharge time gets decreased by one second. If you have, you know, you pick up a trinket or an artifact or anything like that, which is really nice because, you know, shield recharge time is always great. You want to uh, be able to get your shield back as fast as possible. Yeah, this is what I run for uh, my PVP build. Gears, I run the same thing as the last one. Uh, I run uh, the boomerang and the, and the boom box. Um, I'm not gonna go over what they do because I just explained them with the last one. All right, that will that's pretty much it for uh, the builds for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and find it useful. Please let me know in the comment section below uh, what you guys want to see next for me. I plan to do a like shotgun guide or like just a gun guide in general. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, sub. Um, oh yeah, one thing too. I also do stream on Twitch. Uh, Twitch notice OD is my um, Twitch. I do try to stream that this game like very frequently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.